hospital is seeing some coronavirus cases pop up. Huh. The gym is closed. Honey, you see the gym is closed? Yeah, I saw that. I can't believe it. Guess it won't be that bad. <laughs> Hey guys, the quarantine has just begun and we are already starting to feel the pressure. But what we're trying to do is stay fit. We all wanna stay healthy. So we wanna show you guys exactly how to stay fit and healthy while in quarantine. So we are bored already and it's only day, what day is it? We're losing track. I think it's day 10 now. <laughs> but the first thing that we wanna talk about when it comes to fitness and staying fit during the quarantine is our diet and eating. And the biggest thing here is that we need to be mindful. Now we're gonna be stress eating. We're gonna be eating out of boredom. Those are natural things. So show yourself some grace during this time. You don't have to be as strict as you normally would. You know what, to elaborate on what Coco was just saying, there are gonna be times when we feel a little extra stressed by all the stuff that's going on. And during those times, it's okay to be easy on yourself and relax a little bit with your diet, like so. When you are eating, try to set up maybe a daily diet for yourself and say, I'm gonna eat at these times and I'm not gonna snack mindlessly. It's easy because all of us are working at home right now to go take a trip to the fridge and pull out a few snacks. You need to set yourself a rigid structure of set meals throughout the day and set snacks to make it a little bit easier on yourself. This might sound a little boring, but eat the same thing every day. And what I mean by that is eat the same breakfast, eat the same lunch, eat the same snack, and then you can vary it up when it comes to your dinner choices. This way, you're not making a decision about what to have at a certain time of day and then just making a bad decision if you're tired or a little exhausted during that time. It's kind of like the Steve Jobs of dieting. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so as we all know, and we're going to find out, this is not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy for us at all. So some things to help you out throughout this process are things that can help you out in your normal routine. So let's talk about those right now. First up, meditation. I know a lot of you guys think this is woo-woo, but it will definitely help focus your mind. The other thing, journaling. I do this every day. I use the five-minute journal. I've talked about it countless times. It's very quick, simple, awesome tool. Share what that's all about. Okay, well, the five-minute journal is a few parts. First thing is you write down three things you're grateful for. The second thing is three things that would make today awesome. And then the last part is just your daily affirmations. And so when you go through each one, things that you're grateful for, these can be big accomplishments or just the fact you had a great night's sleep or the sun is shining. Things that would make today awesome. These are the three top priorities that you need to do for your day. Now, these could also be things like hugging your wife Yay. or telling someone you love them, or maybe it's something you need to do for your business and accomplish that day. And so doing this on a daily routine for me, builds me a lot of emotional credit and also focuses me for the rest of the day. Now, besides journaling and meditation, we also recommend reading. Read in the morning and read at night. Read as much as you can. Get Turn off that TV and put down that phone. The other thing is go for a walk. You can keep your social distance while still going for a walk and getting some fresh air. And the last thing is pick up that phone and call a friend or a loved one. You need to keep these human contacts going to keep that sanity during this isolation period. Even though we are socially distancing, it doesn't mean that we can't connect with our community. So I think calling friends and family is of the utmost importance at this time because we really need to know that we're united around the world. So the next topic we're gonna cover is our daily diet. Let's start with breakfast. We actually skip breakfast and instead we make a bulletproof coffee. And now this is your typical drip coffee blended with butter, grass-fed butter, and MCT oil. And now this is just a magical frothy combination when you combine the two with a handheld blender. I got, I got what you need, baby. Start the Chevy, make a scene, baby. L.A. B.B. been the team, baby. Bimbit Papa, what the G, baby, look. Labs on the finish, had a handful of lemons through the hand. Got a bag, now the hands in the business. For my hand, it's a ticket, talking Mazda for the... Now this fat will satiate you all the way up until lunch and the caffeine will keep you focused for your tasks at hand. Now, if we skip ahead to lunch, we basically make breakfast tacos and a healthy version. So we mix two eggs 
and we put it on a healthy taco. I like to use Siete Tacos, Scott prefers a different brand, but you can choose whatever you like. Now the tacos that I use have almond flour or cassava flour, which is gluten free. Now, in the afternoons, we make a smoothie. Now this is delicious, it has all of our fruits and vegetables and nutrients that we need to keep us going throughout the day. For dinner, we have a protein, a fat, and a vegetable. Now examples of this are a steak on a salad, or chicken with avocado and Brussels sprouts. Or one of my personal favorites is a pasta bolognese. Now I make this comfort food, but in a healthy way, so that I use Capello's pasta, which is made from almond flour. That way it stays gluten-free and it's delicious, and I feel like I'm having pasta back in Italy. Now for our sweet tooth fans out here, like me, we try to opt for healthy desserts. So some of our favorites are Halo Top. We also put these Power Crunch protein bars, which are mint chocolate chip, and we put them in the freezer, so it's kind of like a thin mint cookie frozen style, it's delicious. And another option that we do is these dang coconut chips. Dang coconut chips. They are delicious and they satisfy your sweet tooth and that need for crunch at night. So if you like chips, opt for these. Buon appetito. All right now, so we've talked about mental fitness, we've talked about the diet, now we wanna talk about the fun stuff, working out. Oh, moyo ta calor. So the first thing you have to tell yourself is I'm not going to be working out as hard as I did beforehand because you're not going to be able to go to the gym, you're probably not going to have all the equipment, and you're not going to have your friends motivating you to push yourself. So but we'll motivate you. That's right. We'll try to help you out. <laughs> so we are actually right now posting a lot of our videos of our workouts to help motivate you guys on our Instagram story. So go to Romaru on Instagram and you'll see those basically on a daily schedule. Also, I wrote a book called Passport to Fitness that is all about working out around the world with limited equipment. So I have plenty of workouts in this book and we'll link below to the book so that you can work out at home or wherever you go in the world. So with all that said, the main thing is you need to set realistic expectations. Now, if you weren't a super big fitness nut to begin with, don't expect yourself to go plan and train for a marathon during this quarantine. For example, I set my workout schedule for at least four workouts during the week. I may do more, but I at least need to get four decent workouts to basically consider the week an accomplishment. Another thing is accountability. Now this is key in any fitness regimen. So pick a virtual workout butter. I like butter. You know what's on my mind. Pick a virtual workout buddy and hold each other accountable. Now this could be someone like us. Feel free to DM us or it can be one of your friends that also wants to get in on the action. So you could start little challenges for your friends and do 10 push-ups and tag 10 friends, or 100 inner squats and tag, not 100 people, it's too many, you're gonna spam them. Just tag 10 friends, but try to get people on board with you so you don't feel alone, because being in isolation can make you feel that way. But we have access to an amazing online community, so you should utilize that for your accountability. All right, the last two tips when it comes to being successful with your workouts. First thing is write your workouts out for the week. So that's something that I do at the beginning of the week. I write out about four or five workouts, so I schedule it, so I know that that is what I'm going to do for the week and I don't have to think about it. I have committed when my brain is strong that I'm going to do this as my workouts. The other thing is that is helpful is just show up. So I have a rule with myself that I have to show up to the gym, which now is our garage, and warm up. And if I really don't want to work out, then I can quit. So every now and then, you have those days where you're just really not feeling it. And you go to the gym, warm up, stretch, and usually you're fine and you finish the workout. But just every now and then that rare occasion, that gives you the small little out to say, I'm not feeling today, maybe I'm under the weather, maybe I'm super stressed, maybe I didn't sleep well, so you know what, I'm just gonna go home, and that's all right. Lastly, when it comes to working out, we wanna talk about equipment. Now this is equipment that we use and that has helped us in our everyday fitness journey. So one thing is a jump rope. Now we travel with jump ropes as well because it's a great way to get some cardio in. We also recommend getting kettlebells, a dumbbell, 
and a pull-up bar. We get a full body workout with all of those pieces of equipment. So guys, we really appreciate you watching. We know that this is a very tough time for everyone. It's a tough time for us. It's gonna be trying and it's gonna be harder than any of us can even imagine. So we just wanna let you know that as much as we can help you, we want to. So feel free to reach out to us through the comments or definitely on Instagram, just shoot us a DM because we wanna build a strong community that will show support. And in this time, everyone, everyone is gonna be in need. Ourselves included. Yeah. We need you guys too. <laughs> so as always, I'm Scott. And I'm Colette. And we are Room Room. And if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe below. Now get out there and work out and probably eat healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Love you guys. Ciao.